information that on its own or combined with other bits of information allows you to identify an individual, a living individual. It doesn't matter whether your purpose in identifying them is B2B or B2C. Your intent to sell them a personal thing or a corporate thing is irrelevant. The fact is whether you can identify that living individual, which means that info, email addresses like info at sales at, which most of us don't want to use on our mailing list because we have no idea who's behind them, don't tend to be automatically regarded as personal data, but they could be. For example, if you know that so-and-so runs a company and they've got an email called info at or hello at, there's quite a lot of those, aren't they? But you've also got their email address, their, their mobile number. You know that by combining that email address with that mobile number, you know you've got food to so-and-so, don't you? So although info at is not a personal email address, once you combine it with a, a unique mobile number, it becomes part of personal data. So people get in the muddle. Now, I tend to treat all email addresses as personal data because I rather hope that at some point my prospects will give me their mobile number or a bit more information. I thought that was the point. And I don't want to have the system that I've got to constantly keep changing as those things become identifiable. I find it easier administratively to treat all data as personal data from the get-go.